So in this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks with sheet metal, like why order of operation matters and the sketch flange tool. So let's take a look. So in this video, I wanted to show a couple of tips and tricks with sheet metal. Uh, I currently have a sheet metal component. I'm using stainless steel 16 gauge for the rule. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and edit this rule really quick. I'll go ahead and click on the edit icon. I wanted to point out a couple things. So for the corner condition, I'm using arc weld, which makes a really nice two bend intersection. Um, but the other thing you'll notice is for the miter rip and seam gap, I've set it to be whatever the thickness is divided by four. So it'll have a really nice tight seam. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create a flange on this back edge. Let's go ahead and just make that two inches tall. If I were now to create a flange on this edge and make it two inches tall, you'll notice that the gap is fairly wide and it doesn't look like an arc weld. And I see this quite often where people are like, I, I don't know why this gap is so wide and it doesn't look like the corner or the bend that I told it to be. And the reason for that is actually in the order of operations. So we actually created a flange and then we created another flange. And so the two bend intersection happens when there's two bends created at the same time. So let me show you what I mean by that. I'm gonna undo that last bend and I'm gonna edit this first flange and I'm gonna add in this other edge. And now notice I get my arc weld corner and I get the really tight corner also. And that's because it's calculating both of these edges at the same time. So that's the first tip. Uh, and I actually see this quite often where people will, will just add one bend at a time and then they'll come in and they'll say, okay, now I wanna do this edge and I wanna do this edge uh, two inches tall and they, they don't get the result that they want. So then they come in and say, well, I'm just gonna pull these faces a little bit closer like so and you'll notice what's happening here and that's just not right so so don't do that um, go ahead and just edit your original flange and add in all of your edges at the same time so I'll add in these three edges and you'll notice we get the really nice looking arc weld corners like we would expect the other tip I wanted to show is, for example, if I wanted to create like a handle or something like that that kind of comes off the back of this, sometimes it's hard to figure out the angles that I want. And it might be easier to do it in a sketch than it is to create it with flanges. So for example, I'm gonna start with a flange here, start to drag, you know, and then I can come in and specify, well, let me just do a straight angle there first. I'll do symmetric here. Let's just make that one inch wide. Then I have to come in and add another flange, maybe on this edge, start to drag, and then have to figure out what angle I want that to be at. And I'm adding in multiple flanges to create this particular shape that I want. And now I want this to go straight horizontal, so I have to make that 30 degrees, for example, figure out the length, yada, yada, yada. Well, there's actually an easier way. I'm gonna go ahead and create a sketch and I'm just gonna do a simple profile sketch. Now, what I would typically do is I would project this point and snap to this point, but I'm, I'm gonna show you kind of the magic here. I'm just gonna click out here for somewhere and let's just do something like this just to start out with to kind of show you the process. And then we'll come back and be more exact. But I'm just gonna kind of draw the shape that I want. I'll say flange, select that flange. And you'll notice if I start to drag, it's gonna create a new sheet metal component. 
But if I hold down my control key and add in this other edge, it's going to join this profile to that other flange. And so you can kind of see it even extended that edge and created the bend relief for me automatically. It made it a full edge. I'll go ahead and change this. Let's just make it symmetric. I'll drag that like so. We'll make that one inch wide each direction. So symmetric means one inch in that direction and one inch in that direction for a total of two inches. But you can see how it actually joined that profile with this existing flange, which is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and undo and show you how I would go about doing this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and project that point. I'll just draw a, a line horizontally um, and then just kind of get the sketch the way I want. Then I can come in and add in some dimensions. So I might say I want that to be two inches. We want this angle here to be 160 degrees and maybe um, from here to here we'll make that four inches and let's go ahead and set that to be four inches also. Now I've fully kind of defined the shape of this. I'll go ahead and do the flange again, select that, hold down my control key, select that, and it's going to join those two together. And then I can do either symmetric or two sides or two offsets. Again, in this case, I'll do symmetric. Let's just do like 0.75 in this case to create something that looks like that, for example. So those are just a couple quick tips in sheet metal. Uh, hopefully that will help you in future projects. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe to be notified of upcoming videos. If you need help learning Fusion, visit my webpage at cadedllc.com. And as always, have fun learning Fusion.